Hi, I can't sleep, so I figured I'd make a video. I want to talk about my crazy dream. So, I really want to run a cybernetics corporation with uh, a female partner, and I want to basically have a personal and business relationship with uh, a woman. And this is something that a lot of people will say is not possible or practical because, well, first off, there aren't, there's the percentage of women that are interested in cybernetics is drastically smaller than the percentage of men interested in cybernetics and programming and hacking and things of that nature. But also, uh, a lot of people are turned off by the idea of having both a business and personal relationship simultaneously. But I think that looking at the people of the past uh, or present, specifically looking at someone like, let's say, Elon Musk. Let's look at Elon Musk and Bill Gates. So Bill Gates, I would argue, is the one who is doing the right thing as far as personal relationships are concerned. Because he, uh, Melinda Gates, worked for him or worked as a part of Microsoft when they began dating. So they were pretty much co-workers while simultaneously being partners. And now, of course, they run the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and they're together, they go around and talk. They have both a professional and personal life together. And I want to contrast that with Elon Musk, who is doing great things for this world. One, building spaceships, two, building electric cars. But he is a little bit stunted in, as far as uh, personal relationships or romantic relationships are concerned because he wants to be with actors or be with uh, a writer. His first wife is now a writer, and his second and third wife, which is the same person, uh, was an actor, Tallulah Riley. And he has divorced um, both of those people. And I would argue that the reason why is because those people weren't passionate about the, the mission that he was trying to achieve and the work he was trying to do, and they weren't in that arena with him. He needs a Pepper Potts, not whoever that reporter was in the original Iron Man. Uh, he spends an incredible amount of time in his company and doesn't have much time else for personal relationships. I would actually argue that he probably shouldn't have had children either, at least until he retired, but that is just uh, my personal opinion and perhaps bias. But bringing it back, I want both a business and personal relationship combo and I'm struggling to find that, but I think what will really happen, what will really work, is when I'm finally able to uh, move and have the resources able to move to a large city which has universities, a startup culture, and maker spaces, and just a larger community as a whole. And I'm not quite to that point yet because I don't necessarily want to work a nine to five job. I would do it. However, the way that I've set up my life kind of prevents me from having the qualifications to do so, even though I think I could do the job. So my current plan is to work contract programming and then also finish this voice project 
as well as implement some other projects and to make uh, a steady income doing that and then I'll be able to move to New York City and my plan if you see on the wall there is I'm pretty much no matter where I'm at as far as that is concerned my money uh, and my steady income I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the plunge uh, to go to New York City to achieve or to make this crazy dream that I have a reality, I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, mandatorily uh, go to New York in roughly, well, not roughly, in 165 days. And that marks a good uh, time family-wise because there's certain events that happen uh, before that. So anyways, like I said, can't sleep, that's fine. And I also, like I said, I'm going to make uh, most likely a cybernetics channel just because I want to keep these vlogs and that channel separate. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.